No room for Sergio Ramos or Thiago Alcantara in the Spain squad. Jules, are you okay with that? Um, not so much. I mean, I love Luis Enrique, like you, Gabby. We're big fans, of course. Uh, I found the Thiago Alcantara omission strange, and it's not. It's not. It's not a surprise either because he was not part no. of uh, the last few squads. I just think a player like that in a team as young as the, the Spain team and is is an added value. Unless you think that if you don't start him, then that could create problems. And I, I would think that that's maybe the, the reason why he's not there. I don't know. And for Sergio Ramos, back to a really good level, back, back to a good level, let's put it that way, at his age. He really wanted a fifth World Cup, take part in a fifth World Cup. I think this one was a longer shot because you, you have better defenders than him in your team right now. You don't have many very good. There's not a lot of depth at centre back for Spain. I think that's why he was hoping to get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And considering the season he's been, he's done so far, playing regularly with PSG, hardly not missing anything and being good, maybe he thought was enough. I don't know. Maybe uh, it's what would you take those guys to leave them on the bench potentially the whole World Cup? I think that's part of Luis Enrique's thinking: is these guys may be better than some of the players I have, but I don't want to have the veteran on the bench. Ashraf Hakimi, of course, disagrees because, of course, he's. Yeah. He argued that Sergio Ramos should be going. Should have been, yeah, yeah, of course. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.